Hello everybody, Stranger Gamer back for another match of my tournament. And now we're on to Pool B. And starting off the final round of Pool B games, we have Toro squaring off against the Alpha team. A win... A win for either of these two will take them through to the last 16. Defeat will leave it out of their hands. Anyway, as for Toro, up first we have Tijongasaurus, Revival type. With a moveset of Quake Saber, Earth Barrier, and Mole Attack. Backing up the Tijongasaurus, we have Mapusaurus. Reform type. With a moveset of Fire Cannon, Burning Dash, and Flare Sword. So yeah, as I mentioned, a win for Toro guarantees their last six guarantees their top four. Guarantees them a top four finish. <laughs> Don't know what I was saying then. Anyway, as for the Alpha team, at first we have Chasmosaurus, Poison type. With a moveset of ACT Rocket, Plasma Anchor, and Banana Surprise. Any form of point for for the Alpha team? Win, drew, win, draw, or a losing bonus point will be enough for them. Backing up the Chasmosaurus, we have Alpha Ragosaurus. Poison type with a moveset of Fight Alpha Trooper, Blazing Spin and Alpha Dart. You know, probably my favourite of the fill-in teams I've done this team. I don't know why, I just like this team. I like the synergy these two have. And I look forward to seeing more from them if they get through. I mean, realistically, they should get through. They should finish top four, but you never know. Well, a strong start from Toro. Oh my god, <laughs> Mapu Swords with a support effect. Like, this guy has no technique. How does he get that off? Five? Ooh, the Chasmosaurus strikes back with a banana surprise. Wow, dealing quite a bit of damage. Oh, it's a tie. Quite an even match so far, which pretty much sums up these two, to be honest. Oh, another tie. And another tie. I forgot what this guy's called. <laughs> Tijongasaurus gets off a hit and kills the Chasmosaurus. As, as the Mapusaurus tags in. Looking good for Toro. Oh, there's a tie. Find quite a few of those this match. And another tie. Oh, the Mapusaurus gets off the hit. Looking very good for Toro. Not so for the Alpha team, but the Rajasaurus gets off a blazing spin. Not doing too much damage, to be honest. For doing more damage than that. Ooh, it's Alpha Dark Time! One of my favourite moves, because it feels like a troll move. What will the Dark land on? Ooh, the Boa! Boosh! Not doing too much damage. Ooh, it's another Alpha Dark! I think this will take out the Mapusaurus. Which means that the Tijongasaurus will be hit as well. Yeah, that's Mapusaurus out. Yeah. Only just, though, only just. Well, it looked promising for Toro, but the Rajasaurus has rallied back and has evened the score. Do 
Just as goes to show, innit? Don't count the Alpha team out! Oh, another tie? <laughs> Pretty much sums up this match. Oh, that's it. Alpha team's through. No matter what happens now, the Alpha team is through. Oh, not only is he through, he has won! What a comeback from the Rajasaurus! Impressive from the Alpha team. And the Rajasaurus rallies back to defeat Toro. Although, Toro does get a losing bonus point, which could be crucial. <laughs> I quite enjoyed that match. So I hope you win, and I hope you all did too. And I'll see you next time. Hello everybody, Stranger Gamer back for another match of the tournament and in, and this is the big clash of Pool B as we have um, June squaring off against Team Brontokins. This is crucial. A win for Team Brontokins will see them through to the last 16 while eliminating the Space Pirates team. <laughs> Gonna get confusing. Anything but a win but uh, anything other than a win will eliminate Team Brontokins. But a win for Team Brontokins will guarantee their place in the last 16. As for June, pretty much any sort of point will do them. And speaking of June, well, I'm not going to go through his dinos, so we're going to see him again. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go through him in a minute. So as for June, we have the Carnotaurus, Crisis type, with a moveset of Dino Illusion, Sonic Blast and Ninja Attack. And backing it up, we have Ampelosaurus, tie recovery type, with Shockwave, Aqua Vortex, and Futaba Cannon. Anyway, as for Team Brontokins, we have, well, Brontokins, of course. <laughs> Couldn't be anything else, could it? With our moveset of Defense Burst, Drovial Rush, and Ocean Panic. The most powerful Dino Tector in this tournament could be eliminated. Anyway, backing up the Bronto Kings, we have Bat, attack type with a moveset of Water Sword, Recovery and Wall Smash. I know people say Omega Eocarcaria is the most powerful armored dinosaur, but it's not in this tournament, so Bronto Kings is. Anyway, let's get on with it. Well, it's win or bust for Bronto Kings, as I mentioned. Anything other than a win will eliminate Team Bronto Kings. A win for Team Brontokins will eliminate the Space Pirates team and will put Brontokins through to the last 16. Okay, we start with a tie. That's a good start as an Ocean Panic activates. Ooh, we have a support effect from that Epicycle Call Dealer. <laughs> so the Kano's paper move is gone. Oh, there's another tie. But Ocean Panic does not activate this time. Well, oh, Brontokin's getting a good start. Sonic Blast activates this time. So the Carnotaurus is going to strike back. <laughs> oh, I think this is Brontokin's out as a ninja attack comes into play. June turning things around on Team Brontokins. Oh, and Makano gets another hit. Tie. 
And Makano hits again. We could be looking at a bonus point win for June. The king's not going down without a fight. Taking out the Kano, and we'll get a hit on the Amplosaurus. But Team Brontokins' tournament is hanging on by a thread. Oh, we can't afford too many of those. But the tie recovery effect. Can I call the opponent a fight? Oh, another tie. Another tie. Oh, that's game over. <laughs> that's Team Bromptikins out. Well, I'll give him his credit, he put up a fight then. He put up a fight. But June takes the win. As Team Brontokins is eliminated from at the group stage. But again, I think give it credit. Give him credit. He put up a fight there. <laughs> I actually thought they were going to turn it around, but it wasn't meant to be. So that's June safely into the last 16. But I think we already knew that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this match. I'll see you next time. Hello everybody, Strange Gamer back for another match of my tournament, and this is it. In this Pool B clash, we see Monolith OG squaring off against Team Space Pirates. Let's get on with it. At first for Mono G, we have Titanosaurus. Boasting a moveset of Defense Burst, Lilian Cure, and Ocean Panic. Anything other than a bonus point defeat for... Well, anything but a bonus point win for Team Space Pirates? A monolith OG goes through. But if the, if the Team Space Pirates get a bonus point win, they go through. Anyway, second dino, Super Mono, with a moveset of tie attack, sonic blast and tiebreaker. So as I mentioned, it's win or bust for Space Pirates, they need a bonus point win to get through. And at first for them we have Armatus, Poison type, with Armoured version, with a moveset of Tupu Dive, Earth Barrier and Light Recovery. And backing up Armatus, we have Gygus. However, if Team Space Pirates do go through, Gygus will not be needed with a moveset of Magma Blaster, Archaeopteryx Charm and Flare Sword. And why Gygus won't be needed? Because Armatus is not allowed to swap out. Which means that Armatus has to do it on its own. So it's basically 2v1 for the Space Pirates. If Armatus or Gygus dies, Space Pirates are out. And Mono G will go for it. Well, Armatus is an armored dino, so it can be done. And that's a good start. The crit and the two before a dive coming in. We have a time. Ooh, and Armatus gets off another hit. And our Earth Barrier is going to come very handy here. A strong start from the Space Pirates, but they needed it. Oh, that could be a big... That could be a sucker punch there. As the Titanosaurus is going to swap out. Although the Earth Barrier does protect Armatus. And the defense burst activating there. That's once. Oh, 
Oop, we got a tie! Ooh, and Armatus gets off the hit! And the light recovery there for the, from the cryo, and the Tuku comes in! And that bar's filled up! Burst awakening in time for the mono! Hang on, I gotta enter the code for Armatus. Oh, let's get this has got interesting! I think with that soup with mono in its awakened mode, it might survive a spectral stinger. I think it all comes down to this. Oh, mono got the hit! Oh, massive Kodaki! I'm a support effect from Titanosaurus. That might be. That might have been it for Armatus. Oh, oops, hit my microphone. Oh, that's gay. Oh. All Mono G needs to do is kill Armatus. Oh, and it's, well, it's, it's over anyway. Oh, it's free life. Yeah, it's over. Even if Armatus had got Spectral Sting off, Mono G would have got a free crit off, so it was over. Well, as Team Space Pirates out, they can no longer get a bonus point win. Which means that Monolofo G is going to go through to the last 16. That was a chance, but the mono got off the hit. Armatus had a chance, but didn't take up. Well, Mono G, after a slow start, has turned this around. I'm not set to win this match. <laughs> that was a pathetic amount of damage. Oh, maybe not. Well, the Space Pirates are going to win this match, but it's not going to be enough. And Monolotho G will claim a losing bonus point, because Gigas' health was in the red. So the Space Pirates got the win, but they don't get the bonus point, which means they don't go through. That was an intense match. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that match, and I'll see you next time. Hello everybody, it's the Stranger Gamer back for another for the final Pool B match of this tournament. I mean, there's not much at stake in this tournament, but we have Team Africa facing off against Chainsaw. I suppose the only thing at stake for these two is to avoid finishing bottom. <laughs> yeah, both of these two are already out. Top four's already been decided, but let's see if these let's see if these two can go out with a bang. Anyway, at first for Team Africa, we have Joe Borrier. With a move set of Tuku Dive, Aqua Whip, and Light Recovery. Just. And backing up Joe Borrier, we have Super Majungasaurus. With a move set of Dino Illusion, Tornado Toss, and Kamikaze Tackle. Yeah, it hasn't quite happened for these two, I'm afraid. But with his winners, there's losers, so. There you have it. Anyway, as for Chainsaw in the blue corner, we have a Super Cyjania. With a moveset of Quake Saber, Earthquake and Giga Rock Hammer. I think if I was going to be hypercritical, I mean, I don't want to criticise people's selections. You know, we all have our preferences, but I probably would have taken out the Earthquake put Earth Barrier in instead. Anyway, backing up the Super Sight, we have Spinosaurus, Heroic Type. With a moveset of Neptune Stream, Alpha... 
Aqua Javelin and Alpha Dart. Well, I hope people who are already eliminated will take notes of these tournaments and I hope to see them again next year. I mean, when I do this next year, I will bring the Continental teams back. But I hope to see I hope to see some familiar faces next year. Or maybe those that have been eliminated early can take I am <laughs> Sorry, the RNG's been a bit slow. Anyway, as I say, I know people can take like notes of thing of what happens. Maybe I do want to say show improvement, but come on. <laughs> maybe learn a few things on this tournament. And I hope to see you lot again next year. Okay, that's a free. Okay, so I just need to click free for Joboria. And it'll automatically kick papers to Cychania, so. Yeah. Sorry about that. I don't know why RNG did that, but. Oh well. Joboria gets off the head. So Tukubora comes in. Okay, that's once, because we had a tie. Oh, not again. Sorry about this. I'm not pausing to the go. Okay, sorry about that. The internet decided to have big fat. Okay, back to the match. Unless I chain you, gets off the hit. Right, that's twice. Okay, we have a tie. Well, both of these two put up a fight so far. Quite a good match so far. Saichania gets off another hit. Ooh. I think that's the first time we've seen it use Giga Rock Hammer this entire tournament. Will it take... Oh, it doesn't take it out, but leaves its health in the red. Oh, that could be a big turn there for Saichania. Getting off the Quake Saber and denying Joe Borio the swap out. Ooh, next round should be interesting, because it'll be awakening time for the Majungasaurus and Sychania. Here we go! Oh, the Sychania gets it off! Oh, the Dino Illusion triggered. And the Giga Rock Hammer is activated. Oosh. Oh, it's a tie. Got quite a few of those this match. Oh, the Saichania is going down as the Majungasaurus gets off a big hit. And with a Dino Illusion still in effect, Majungasaurus can survive one hit once. And there he comes that hit. But the Dino Illusion going to deny the Spinosaurus a win. And that's game over. And Chainsaw finishes their tournament on a high with a win over Team Africa. Well, I hope you have enjoyed seeing these two combatants in the last couple of weeks. But that's the last time we'll be seeing these two. Right, on to the table. And that is how the final table for Group B looks. So we have June topping Pool B with 20 points. Two bonus points and six wins. Very impressive. And then in second place, we have probably my favourite team in this group, the Alpha Team. With five wins, two defeats, and two bonus points. Oops, and 17 points. And then in third place, based on head-to-head, -head, we have Toro. Head-to-head -head being Toro defeating Monolotho G. Both of these two have identical records. But as I mentioned, the 
Toro did beat Mono G, so Toro gets third while Mono G gets fourth. And then it's the same for these two. Since the Space Pirates defeated Chainsaw, the Space Pirates will finish fifth and Chainsaw will finish sixth. And then we have Team Brontekins disappointingly finishing seventh. And then Team Africa finishing bottom. So the last 16, we're going to have someone from Pool B will be playing someone from Pool A. And as it works, it will be first place of Pool B versus fourth place of Pool A. And then it'll be vice versa. So the matchups will be June against Dino Gasmania. Then we have Alpha Team versus myself. And then we have Dino Tanker against Toro. No, not Toro. Monolotho G. So Dino Tanker and Mono G. And then we have Tor versus Toro. Some interesting matches. So I'll be seeing all eight of you in the knockout stages. So I hope you enjoyed this match. And this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.